you actually go for any real fights and end the game within the next 10 minutes. So this is going to be all about pick off hit the block. And now QO, he's just going to be walked down. Shockwave attempted QL, going to try to deny himself to Ancients, couldn't quite get it though. Ninja would be very nicely timed on the last hit, and the Courier dies there, even though that lead. And sure enough, 1500 gold lead for them, and whoa, whoa, wrong one. Experience, bottom lane, looks like we do have some action. Jump in on March, he's already got enough seeking Napalm charges that he will be going down to this fire, and it looks like Reason will do the same. Good rotation from Rave, they needed something like this. Very big play for them. Kind of perfect for this, just because it's a long-range ability that cleans up creep waves pretty quickly and also draws the aggro. Unfortunately, they're still dealing with the Jakiro Liquid Fire. QO, no multicast there. Unfortunately, Ninja Boogie Ninja not quite level 6, and it looks like QO... Well, he no may actually take out from this one. It's going to be a bit close, but it looks like he should be fine. 40 and Chrissy actually jumps in, one last right click, and he gets it. And no matter what happens here, I would almost say that's worth it. Chrissy will burn out. Ogre Magi does actually teleport himself away. March dies as well. Perfect fight for Ray. Trading one for two. Doesn't look like they're going to force it just yet. The wraparound, Chrissy is going to be coming in from behind. Flame Break bumps the dragon a little bit. But if they want to go, they need to go right now. Ninja Boogie is going to be stunned up by the Ice Pass. Gets a multicast on the reason. Ninja Boogie probably going to be going down here as he can't go anywhere. Throws out an Ignite. And Chrissy, surprisingly enough, I really thought he was going to be able to jump on the Jakiro there. Instead, going for Heen in the background. Will be able to grab him. Jail will help clean him up. Heen, he could get off an Echo Slam. And that's why Jail immediately bails as the Rabbit comes in as well. Very nicely paid by him. Pops the Earth Shaker now backing himself away. Skewer in. J.O. Unable to be there, a part of that team fight. Unfortunately, it looks like March is going to be able to get off his mech. And now Rior in some serious trouble. Slow down. Liquid Fire. Gush is going to be able to slow him down even further. And he'll just turn around and do what damage he can before he dies. Steward back. Couple of stuns. And Reason will be falling here. He just does whatever damage he can to the tower and to the enemy heroes. Rior actually... Oh my god. Rior, is he going to die? He's going to die. That's embarrassing. That really should not happen. Uh, Jakiro who's completely boned. And he somehow manages to pick up a kill. Still though, better to play safe than sorry at this point. This will come in handy. Rior kind of trapped out here, but he's got a skewer if necessary. And a blink, actually. Tier 1 tower will drop down into deny range. Rior's going to try and commit to it. Skewer uphill. And may have to commit. Oh, he uses an RP, but still dies there. Very, very bad exchange. Tier 2 tower will be dying here, but maybe they can get a kill. Jail pops his ultimate on reason, knowing he had no mana whatsoever. And they should be able to burn out that one kill. They can get March as well, though. Cast gets close enough. He can be activated. Jail needs to be careful with his positioning. So lasso disables March for a while. Cast actually throws out his ultimate, but this is a level 1 BKD. This is 10 full seconds. And March. Another multicast, turn around, ignite, and frostbite. They are able to burn him out. Forev with his haste rune is going to be bouncing around, should be able to clean up the rest of the supports, but not necessarily that it's all on them to prevent this game from going late, because they certainly can go late game. Especially with the way that uh, certain characters are going to shut down. Oh, Echo Slam on four, plus the Ravage on four as well. And that is almost going to be a wipe there. Chrissy, the only one to get off a BKB. And the only one with a BKB will be able to walk away. But that was huge. BKB is good enough. That's why they're going to move out with a smoke. Unfortunately, their lanes are constantly pushed. So it makes this smoke a little bit obvious. But they may still be able to catch him out. They see five heroes, smoke, gonna be popped on both sides. Jail jumps in the middle of everybody there, gets off the man, the RP only on one. As it controls for rest. Meanwhile, the lasso goes on to March. Jail needs to turn around, hold him down. Naga Siren Sleep goes out. The BKB still active for Jail, but finally does go away. He falls asleep. Looks like they want to take this one. Ravage goes out. Jail loses his Aegis. On the right side, we have Raisin, who's kind of separated from everyone else. Looks like he's going to be targeted. Go back to Jail, who's been ensnared up. Needs some extra help, but pops the Naga Sire. Now moving up against March, unable to finish him off, as now Chrissy might be able to get some vengeance for him. Finally, the Shapiro does go down to some multicast. Jumping up, Chrissy should be able to take down March. And one versus three continues. Forever fighting up against three different heroes here, and now it's soon to be joined by a fourth, as Chrissy's going to catch up with the Skewer in. And they will be able to burn him out here just a matter of time. So that's a complete wipe. Rave, all they lose is the Aegis and a death on the... Recent, snared up. 
We are looking for that opportunity for the RP. He's gonna go soon here. Forev jumps forward. Still waiting on the Animage, though. Animage further down. The Burnout is gonna be able to catch out Rayson. Throws his ultimate onto uh, Forev. Not really the hero they wanted. Now jumps in, will be able to pop Heen. And just a slow pickoff. No RP necessary, I guess. Now gonna jump onto March. Unfortunately, he's all out of mana. Maybe they can still burn him out, though. They got the disabled from cast. BKB activated finally by March, but it looks like it's been too late. And triple kill for Jay. Start popping. Pings go out. They're gonna jump in. Smoke of their own from the side of MVP. Instantly dies. There goes the RP, but instantly the Ravage comes down from the side of Perez. Catching two. And Jayo. Now gonna pop in BKB. Gets off a really good ultimate there. Does a good amount of AoE damage. Perez probably gonna be burning out here. The blink away by Jayo. March is able to successfully chase him away. And he stole all of his physical damage. Will be chasing him down. Chrissy's also gonna go down. Two for one exchange so far. Jayo bouncing back in. Looking to be able to finish off the Earth Shaker. One more hit, but. Unable to get it just yet. Meanwhile, the rest of the team is going to be forcing Dyer's down this tier three tower. Dyer's and then he generally stalls out from there. Mortality. Smoke will pop. He'll jump into the middle of everybody here. Go straight for me. RP on two. If they pop him with the ultimate, he's able to take down one, though. That's only one. JL, double ravage. You're going to go down on him. Actually blinks away due to the great lasso there from the side of the Bat Rider. Able to hold him in. Shivas will slow down Ninja Boogie. Double four staff gives him some distance. But it looks like he's still going to be chased down by March. And another team fight won on the side of MVP Phoenix. Which is surprising to say the least that uh, now the other two cores are going to be coming in to go straight for Jail and start stealing away some of his damage. He needs to be able to blink away, but he's already lost so much up against the Razor. Tries to go for the Courier, couldn't quite get it. And QL looks a little lost on what he wants to go on. Rior does have his ultimate. But it looks like they are going to be bouncing out just for the supports on the side. He should be going down here to Jail. Pops the ultimate, unable to finish him off. And on the other side, they're doing a good job trying to kite him, but the ensnare is the biggest problem. And now, Magnus needs to help Jail. They need to get to him as soon as possible. Reason is going to be taken down, but the Animage is already fallen. And no RPs whatsoever from this Magnus. Not even just one to hold down the Naga Siren. This is such bad coordination from Raid. Here's the time to try and hit an RP. RP on q -O. Need to lock him down, make sure he doesn't get off his ultimate. Pops it. Secondary RP. Well, the Nagas aren't actually going to buy back and try and teleport in. The secondary RP should be used on her, but the creep she was teleporting in on did get killed. They hold on to the secondary one. Aegis is up on whatever hero grabbed it. Looks like the Batrider. And there's no buyback on the Naga Sire. Now's the time to go. Heen is going to find the initiation, though. Jumps in with the Echo Slam, gets popped in. Some and Chrissy still going strong. RP on two. Where's the double RP? Brings back QL. But unfortunately, only caught him. Well, look at March. He's stolen so much damage. Rior able to get himself away. Eats the cheese. And trying to get away farther up. Ravage is going to be able to lock down too. Chris is hitting very low. Double, another Ravage is going to come out. Finishes off the Bat Rider and hits Agent Jail. Meanwhile, it's going to be taken down. And the Ensnare just is a complete counter to an Animage. Buyback already from uh, Jail. We are still looking for extra pickoffs here. They need something more. They need a better pickoff. Jump in once again. Song of Siren goes out. Even if he gets turned into a pig, it still goes off. And Jail, nice RP. Maybe they can actually do this. Rabbit goes off. Secondary RP starts ripping through all these heroes, and he's going to be able to pop all three. Jail, one last hit gets marked. Now up for Red. It's going to go down. They even keep the melee racks alive. MVP. Big, big mistake. Group up way too much, and Rave now able to push out. Maybe even get a fourth pickup here, or a fifth pickup. Hain. He's going to be going down. Unable to get up his blink, and Kale kills Chrissy. Oh, he still had the Echo Slam, so at least he gets an immediate buyback from the Batrider. And Rior popping a BKB. Got to push out. Street time, I think, for Rave. Are they? Maybe not. They've got one RP where MVP do not have a Ravage. If it's the right RP, they can win this team fight. But side device has been picked up by the Razor. They're going to go on QO. RP goes down. Can they lock down QO and take him off twice? They do. 100 seconds down on the clock. March, he's going to have to carry through this. And it looks like he does have enough with his DKB plus his side device that he's holding on to. He's going to be able to chase back the rest of the race. MVP giving up much of a fight. Jump in, Echo Slam on two. 
Ice Bath as well going out. BKB going to be activated there. Chrissy will grab Heat, pull him back into the rest of the team. Jail jumps forward and will be able to pop him. They don't lose anybody for that one. Really thought MVP were just going to give up the fight. I don't think they should be taking it without the nod of silence. Another BKB burned by March. Another jump in. Abyssal this time on a reason. They're losing heroes one by one. Rave. This is comeback potential right here. This is huge. Range Rag's going to be going down. Now they can actually go down to the bottom lane. It's going to be able to finish off two heroes here. For Red Pops, March going down as well. And just left with the Naga Siren. Rave. One hero left. Buy back there on the March. Two heroes left now. J.O. bit by bit is going to be able to take down these buildings. And they can do this as long as they play this carefully. They won't lose anybody. J.O. Needs a fourth staff out, needs some help. Manta goes down, Echo Slam holding men, they take him down. Animate pops, Rave now on the retreat. Teleports away, Cast and Riard. Oh, the Song of Siren. QO holds them both in. Both of those TPs gonna be canceled. Both of these heroes should be falling. And Snare holds in Riard, pops a BKB, but it's too late. They make the most of that pickoff. Go for a throw of their own. They already took down the tier four earlier, and the other tier four is already low. Chrissy jumping in, trying to grab QL, unable to get it. RP now being put on QL. Now maybe they can jump and fight a beautiful Ravage in response. JL has nothing he's able to do without these big disables. Without the Magnus, he can't do anything. And it's looking like MVP will be able to successfully push this one to a game five. Cast is going to be going down. Teleport away from Ninja Boogie is successful. But that Ninja Boogie is left, and there it is. The GG from Rave. They didn't want to give up on this one. They almost staged a huge comeback. But at the end, MVP Phoenix will be able to push this to a game number five to determine who's going to be going to Taiwan and who will be sadly watching from the sidelines. We have every other team for the MSI Beat It 2014 Global event. We've got every other team but the APAC qualifier. Outfitting that we're going to be going to a game number five.